Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, we're doing something a little bit different because I'm not actually making anything today. In my last tutorial, I made this glass tile and it has my name on it and my husband's name. At the end of our name, there are, I call them swooshes. You can refer to them as swirls, squiggly lines, whatever suits you. I call them swooshes and that's how I'll refer to them. There are these lines at the end of our name and there's also this heart that's in between our name. And in order to access those special characters within what I, while I was using Cricut Design Space, I had to access the character map. The character map that I downloaded is one that is called Character Map UWP. I will show you how to access that on your computer. You will have to download it. It is a free app. It's not, it doesn't cost any money. You have to download that app and then use it when you're in Cricut Design Space to access any of the special. They're also called glyphs um, that are available within any font options that you have. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. The computer that I'm using is operating Windows. I'm operating a Windows 11 system, operating system. So the character map that I referred to in the intro is one that is called Character Map UWP. As you can tell, it is already downloaded on my computer. But if I have not, if I had not downloaded, the first thing I would have to do is go to the search bar and type in Character Map uwp okay so now that i have it when it opens up i can see that i have 208 font families already available on my computer okay so after you get it downloaded you'll be able to access the character map uwp just the same way that i have the font that i used the other night is one that is called joseph sophia Joseph Sophia was downloaded from defont.com. If you're not familiar with how to do that, I will provide a link below that demonstrates how to download fonts from defont.com and how to then upload them into Cricut Design Space. Okay, so the font that I used was Joseph Sophia. I'm going to go now to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to just type in our names. Okay, so I'm going to go to text. And when you open Cricut Design Space, the text automatically defaults to Cricut Sans. Okay, so I'm going to type in Peter. And I hit the space bar one time and then Delanda. Okay, so if I were to just leave our names like this, you see there are no special characters. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just regular Peter and Delanda. Okay. But what I wanted to do was I call it jazzing it up. So what I did was I went over to my font option right here. I selected the drop down. I typed in J O S E and I hit search. Joseph Sophia pops up because I've already downloaded this font onto my computer. Now you can see our name is different. It is in more of a script font. It is in the font that is called Joseph Sophia. Okay, so what I'm going to do before I make any changes to it, I'll just duplicate this and send it over here to the right, just in case I make a mistake and I don't, I won't have to start all the way over. Okay, so I have our names and I want to add some special characters to it. This is when I would open up that character map. So the first thing that I did was I clicked on the um, character maps. I'm, go, I'm going to go back to the character map and I looked at the options. Okay, so I'm still in the font that is called Joseph Sophia. Okay, and at the end of Peter's name, the last letter in his name is an R. So I select the R, I clicked copy, and then I went back to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to click on the R in his name. Right now, everything is still grouped together. In order to select his the R in his name, I have to double click here. I just, let me do that again. I'm just double clicking on what I have. I'm going to go to his name, the R in his name. 
I have it highlighted right here. Okay. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Make sure you can see that. I'm going to highlight the R in his name. I'm going to do control V. Control V is just like paste. It's just like the paste option. So I'm going to do control V and that changes it to the R that was available in the character map. Okay. So now I have the R in his name changed to the R with the heart at the end. Now I'm going to ungroup all of this. Okay, so now I have each letter individually. See, I have, you know, every single thing is its own little thing. So now I'm going to select my whole name. And I'm going to use the arrow key on my keyboard and just move my name over I'm using the left arrow on my keyboard. Okay, I just moved my name over so that it's touching the end of that heart. Okay. And then what I did, I knew I wanted there to be, you know, something different at the end of the A on my name. So I'm going to click on the A. There's the A. I'm going to go back to the character map. Okay. I'm going back to the character map. I'm going to look at the A options. I like this A right here. I'm going to click copy. Once I click copy and I get back to Cricut Design Space, I want to paste it. So I'm going to click on that A. I can double click on it. I can, you know, remove it and I want to paste it. Paste is control V. Okay. So now I've changed the A. Now I also want to change the P on Peter's name. Let me bring my screen down, my view down just a little bit. So when I went back to, so I, I know that I, you know, I wanted some kind of swoosh or line at the end of his name. When I went back to the character map, I didn't see one that had like, a, I didn't see a capital P that had a swoosh or a swirl or a glyph at the end of it. So what I ended up doing was using a lowercase P and I just stretched it and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So I'm just scrolling through the letters. And I can see that the lowercase p has a swirl at the end or a swoosh or whatever, you know, you want to call it. I like this one. I click copy. I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space, select his the letter in his name, remove that one, do control V. OK, when I did that, his this P came in like this and I unlocked it and I just stretched it down a little bit. Okay. And I still knew that I wanted it to be connected here. Okay. And I also, you know, wanted it to be aligned as well as it could. So let me stretch it down more. Let me, oh, let me unlock it, stretch it down more. And then I did it like that. Okay. And I don't want anything to be off okay so then after I had it exactly how I wanted it I selected this whole thing and I welded it let me show you how to do that full process again okay so I'm going to show you that process again and I'm going to use um, my daughter's name I'll use Madison okay and I will just make her name a little bit bigger. I'm using the regular Cricut Sans font. Okay, so right now it's just basic and it's just, you know, plain, nothing special about it. I'm going to use, I'm going to change her name using a different font. I'm going to use the font that's called Christmas and Santona. So I'm going to type in Christmas. And this font was also downloaded from thefont.com okay so i'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it very well and let me actually unlock it and kind of stretch it a little bit okay so i'm going to duplicate this be first before i make any changes to it just move it over here okay and i'll go back to the character map because i know i want to jazz up her name a little bit okay so i'm going to go back to the character map and I'm going to look at my options. My options are, you know, I'm looking at the font Christmas and Santona. And I want to see 
Like, okay, so it tells me there are, there are regular characters. There are 426 characters available within this font. Okay, so I'm looking. I'm trying to see if there's anything special that I like. This is the M that's already there. So I know, you know, that's fine. This is all the regular stuff. Okay, uh, let's see. This is if I wanted to add you know, any of those special little characters to the top of her name. These are, you know, double letters. I like this D, that's fancy, but I wouldn't put that in the middle of her name. Okay, um, still looking. I like this N. I think I want that N to be at the end of her name. So I wanna click copy. I'm gonna go back to Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna double click on her name remove the N that's already there and do control V. Control V, remember, that's like the paste option. So now I have that fancy N. Let me see if there's anything else I wanna change about what I've done to her name. So I wanna go back to the character map. Okay, I, I have the option for this M. I'm not in love with it, it's just okay. I could change it to this M. I'm not in love with that one either. Okay, let me see what other options I have. I like this D right here. I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna go back to Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna double click on her name and I'm going to remove the D that's already there. I'm just gonna hit backspace and control V. And look, look at how fancy that is. Look at how fancy that is. Let me go back to the character map and see if there are any other changes I want to make to her name. Ooh. Okay, that D is nice also. Okay, and I don't think there's anything else I wanna change about it. I like it just the way that it is. So I'm finished with the character map. I'm gonna go back to Cricut Design Space. I like her name like this. This is a script font, so I know that it needs to be welded. So I'm gonna weld it, okay? And I can change the color if I want to. Of course, I would wanna see what it looks like in red. That is amazing i love it i can change it to green i can change it to blue okay so you have definite options for working with text and fonts in cricut design space okay so hopefully this was helpful to you hopefully you learned how to use the character map and you will get it downloaded and started making your you will get started with making your font more fancy or as i like to call it jazzing it up Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and hit that like button and, and please consider subscribing and um, continuing on this journey with me. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.